Well, the Mastocytosis Society is there for patients, for caregivers, and for physicians. We want to try to educate. No, no one is turned away when they ask for information. We always make sure we get all of our brochures, emergency protocols, contact for doctors for anyone. You know, you can join the association, and that money goes towards having a conference every year and all the, you know, the printing material and things like that. But um, we do have an annual conference, and the doctors from our, our medical advisory board will come, and they will answer questions there. And uh, if we have other concerns, that's where they learn from us, that we try to bring it together as an organization and present, this is what we're finding our, from our patients is happening, and that information then the doctors take back and try to see if they can find another way to almost tweak the diagnosis or understand what's happening a little bit more. They're learning from us, and that's what we're trying to do. Just because you may not look sick doesn't mean there's nothing wrong. That's the one thing that we, we have a lot of you know, people say, but you don't look like there's anything wrong. How can you? And they don't understand how difficult is a, a trip to the, to the grocery store where you try to walk down to the cold aisle and going from a cold to a hot section, how will then trigger us walking into a hotel and having the smells of new carpeting or fresh paint are triggers. Going to family functions is difficult because you don't know what they're going to have for food, so when you try to eat, or they're doing different activities indoors or outdoors, they don't understand. So I just wish people would, you know, and not just for this disease, but others as well, just sometimes take a step back and, and ask, you know, well, if something's happening, what can we do to help?